Now to that breaking news here in New York City. The FBI seizing electronic devices belonging to Mayor Eric Adams as part of a corruption investigation, taking them from him right on a city street. Jonathan Deans has the late details. In what appears to be a growing federal corruption investigation, the FBI has seized the electronic devices of New York City's Democratic mayor, Eric Adams. The FBI approaching Adams Monday. Two sources familiar with the matter say the mayor turned over two cell phones and an iPad and later turned over additional electronic devices. The mayor's attorney saying tonight he's not been accused of wrongdoing and continues to cooperate with the investigation. Adams tonight saying, I have nothing to hide. Questions appear to center around Adams' chief campaign fundraiser, 25-year-old Brianna Suggs, whose home was raided by agents several days ago. Earlier this week, Adams voiced support for Suggs, who has not commented publicly. I sleep well at night. Uh, I am clear that we follow the rules. We follow the rules. Investigators are in part looking into possible campaign donations tied to a construction firm and its ties to Turkey. But a source familiar with the matter says late last week, it was the mayor and his lawyers who turned over information about additional wrongdoing separate from the campaign finance investigation. One of the mayor's lawyers says in the spirit of transparency and cooperation, this behavior was immediately and proactively reported to investigators. All right, Jonathan joins us live in studio. So, Jonathan, what you're reporting here is a remarkable scene. Those devices taken by the FBI from the mayor on a New York City street? Yeah, Tom, we're told that the mayor was coming out of a speech near NYU. This, as we're told, the FBI first considered seizing the devices during the mayor's appearance Sunday at the New York City Marathon. Again, the mayor denies any wrongdoing and no charges, Tom, have been filed in this investigation. All right, Jonathan Deans on that breaking news. Jonathan, thank you for that. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.